Well, Fino is an inherent part of the guidelines, both NICE guidelines and the BTS side guidelines for asthma management and diagnosis. And there are several ways you can use Pheno. Pheno is the second test you should do after spirometry, interestingly, uh, in, those, in both those guidelines. So we need to be doing it. Why? Because elevated levels of Pheno in, uh, enhance your ability to diagnose asthma. Nothing is strictly diagnostic of asthma, but high levels of Pheno are, are very helpful with a diagnosis of asthma. And more importantly, high levels of Pheno are very predictive of response to inhaled corticosteroids. So if someone comes with symptoms, cough, wheeze, variable breathlessness, the classic symptoms of asthma, and they've got a high level of pheno, you can have a high level of suspicion they really have got asthma, and also, and it's really important for the patients, a high level of confidence that they'll respond to treatment. So we use it in that way. And then the other thing, just to throw in, is we use it extensively in secondary care for adherence. People with asthma need to take their inhalers regularly, and we know that adherence is patchy at best. If someone's pheno is high, and you put them on inhaled corticosteroids, the pheno comes down. They see that, and we'll talk maybe more about that. But also, if it goes up again, it either means two things. One is their disease has got worse, and they're having a, a worsening attack, or it means they're not taking their treatment. And so you can then make an, an informed uh, clinical judgment, putting it together with examination and other things to see what's really going on here. And patients really love it too.